I'm in the cabin of the newly launched Hino 700 series heavy duty truck with a 16 speed automated manual transmission, their AMT. This is essentially a long awaited in terms of a feature for a Hino truck. It's a 700 series truck which was actually launched earlier this year, a revised 700 series truck and now they've launched the automated manual transmission version of this truck. I'm sitting in this Hino 700 SR1E prime mover. Is this the same one with the lift up rear axle? So it's also essentially it's rear wheel drive but two wheel drive with the rear axle liftable so that you can actually save fuel by it has less drag in terms of uh, when it's on the road when you don't have any cargo any load at all. So now, same model, it has all the safety features you want, uh, airbags, uh, ABS brakes, nice cabin with all the safety features, easy liftable cabin and all. Everything's basically quite auto automated, but they also added this automatic transmission for you. This is a ZF A8 Tronic transmission. So an AMT gearbox manufactured by ZF, famed for their gearboxes, for the transmissions. So you're getting the best you don't have to shift yourself anymore you can let the trunk do everything for you there's also manual plus minus controls if you want to do and it's quite good in that sense so the rest of the cabin seems to be quite spacious of course there's no high roof and all this is still quite a low roof setup and all quite spacious for malaysian style long haul drives which is basically from maybe johor baru to bukit kayu hitam so it's good enough because the seats are also air suspension air sprung and all yes air sprung suspension seats and all which makes it a lot comfortable then there is also passenger seat and then a sec uh, third passenger seat up front also and also a bunk which is uh, actually quite hard one thing i would have liked if if the bunk bed here was had a bit better cushioning but aside from that the seats are very very nice what else is there plastic seems to be nice a lot of storage compartments inside the the, the truck and it's well made for a Japanese truck and now with the automatic transmission Hino seems to be playing up and trying to catch up with the European trucks and all I like things with automatic transmissions because in terms of this kind of trucks it actually reduces driver fatigue I mean your drivers if you're a driver you know long hours on the road changing gears especially a manual transmission and if you know the Hino manual transmission 16 gears high low a lot of switch gears to play it tends to of course you get used to it but it's still tiring because you have to clutch and then you will change gear and then you got to switch up low gear high gear you got to know what you're doing so one less thing for the driver to worry about more that they can see outside and all so it's quite good now this truck is also quite unique in that it was also fitted with collision warning alert sensors in the truck so you can see this is aftermarket an aftermarket system which you can ask Hino dealers to retrofit into your trucks after you've made your decision to purchase a 700 series or 500 series where it has blind spot cameras a collision warning sensor up front so that with a buzzer so that it gives you a loud beep when it happens it also has a camera at the back which you can attach to the trailer or whatever load you have and and this one is quite unique you can see that this funny thing sitting right at the back of the this cabin and all this viewers is something by webasto it's basically an air cooler this is like what you get built in to say something from scania or from volvo in their trucks where it's built-in system it powers it is powered by the battery you don't have to let the engine run on idle when you're waiting for your cargo to be loaded you can just run this air blower via battery power and it's made by webasto and they have decided to display this unit here it's a retrofitted unit which means that you can actually add on to the truck after you have bought it so anybody can do it it is by webasto i will get the details and put it in the description below also and it's quite good let me on the thing so you can hear the wind blowing now 
it's on 22 degrees it's a chiller i don't have the engine running but without the engine running powered through the truck's battery it can cool keep the cabin cool for between one to four hours depending on your battery if your battery is strong up to four hours that means if you're sitting say at port clang waiting for your cargo to be loaded you don't have to let the engine run the operator your the transporter can save a lot of diesel and your, your driver is still cool and calm in the cabin so even a japanese trunk like this has creature comforts refinement equipment levels that you find in maybe higher up european trucks and it's still reasonably priced this truck is fully imported from japan right now it's cbu and it's cost in the mid 350,000 ringgit but i heard there's a promotion price right now for how much it costs overall so it's a bit cheaper the amt might cost you between 10 to 20,000 ringgit as an option over the 16 speed manual so this is an 16 speed automatic gearbox and this is coupled to a 12,913 cc engine which gives out about 420 horsepower and about 2,200 newton meters of torque so quite a good setup in terms of uh, Malaysian long haul commutes I mean it has all the creature comforts and refinements you want GCW rating of this truck is maybe 70,000 70, kilos so good haulage capacity for such a truck and at that price offered fully imported from Japan it's quite a reasonable package of course pricing is subjective as it comes out with your service package the finance package and also it is not something fixed but this thing costs about 12,000 ringgit retrofitted to your truck I think there's an offer right now talk to your Hino dealer they will know what how much it actually costs it's by Vibasto so have a look at it head to the nearest Hino dealer and you can see how the AMT is what it's all about and how it will actually make you save a little bit of diesel a little bit of fuel because it actually shifts more efficiently than even a, a normal driver a, a experienced driver especially if your driver is inexperienced this AMT would actually help you actually save a little more fuel in the long run a lot more with a lot more savings in terms of everything from less driver fatigue to more productivity in fact better uptime because the clutch is controlled all by electronics which means that nobody to ride the clutch nobody just steps on the clutch and just holds it and premature wear and all might happen so an AMT will actually solve such problem it is good that Japanese truck makers are now moving to that path and we can see more of it more of Japanese trucks having the AMT set up and I like this this uh, Webasto cooler it just keep the cabin cool right now I'm sweating less inside this cabin which is the engine is not running seriously you said it anyway. it's at 22 degrees right now and it works seriously fine so quite a good option for your drivers if you are an owner this is something to think about also and it's good that he knows it's packaging this whole thing together into one truck okay for motoring Malaysia I'm Rickwell Reza do subscribe for more videos like this we do bus trucks and cars quite different right all right till later